Hey guys, welcome back to the Lee and Fee channel. Today I'm going to be doing a couple of things. One is I'm going to be showing you my no makeup makeup look. Also going to do an Avon haul and take you guys along with me for some errands. So if you're interested in a casual weekend type vlog, then stay tuned. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get to it. So this has kind of been my go-to coffee drink. Um, usually in warmer months, I like iced coffee. So I get this from Walmart. It's Blonde Rose, unsweetened. And then I add some sweet creamer. I don't put sugar in my coffee, just like whatever creamer. And it looks like that. It's really good. Um, this is actually new, this creamer. I've been, like I'm almost down to the wire with my last Peeps creamer. So I got the new seasonal one and it's actually makeup, like makeup it. look. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try, I've never tried this before, it's new. It's the Ulta Beauty Hydrating Face Primer Oil. Uh, I'm sorry, it says mineral oil free. And then it says coconut water for hydration. Now I definitely don't think I need hydration, but I just kinda wanna try it out. And see so how it looks. So it has a little thing like this. So, so this is like the consistency of it. I'm not gonna use very much, cause again, keeping it very simple today. Mostly just where I'm gonna put some concealer. I'm not gonna do foundation today. Um, it smells really nice. It definitely smells like it says coconut water. So yeah, I definitely smell that coconut. I'm kind of going for like that fresh kind of dewy look, but that's hard for me to accomplish, you know, being oily. I have a little blemish right here. Just it seems like there's always a blemish there. So there we go. So yeah, definitely very dewy. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I just brush them out with a little thingy like this. Try not to cover it up. Like I said last weekend, um, I got my eyebrows threaded. So it definitely helps, you know, <laughs> you don't have to spend as much time doing them when they're, you know, freshly threaded. So the eyebrow pencil I use is CoverGirl and it's soft blonde. I like to use a um like kind of a lighter shade than what my eyebrows are because i have really you can see i have really dark eyebrows so kind of don't want them to look like too dark and like overpower my whole face so just kind of fill them in a little bit keeping it simple i probably have i have some of these like gnarly ones here that need to be tweezed but eh, not today Don't worry about that tomorrow so how is everyone's weekend going? Hopefully it's been restful. Yesterday when I woke up, it was raining and it was like thundering and it was gross outside. So I didn't do like literally anything yesterday. I just sat on the couch, caught up on some of my favorite YouTubers videos and then um, made dinner. I did watch some Game of Thrones. I am like halfway through season four and now that I know I can watch HBO through Xfinity on the TV, I can stream it. I don't feel like I have to like rush through it because I my free trial expired obviously. So now I, but I didn't realize that you could stream HBO with Xfinity. Like I knew you could watch, H, uh, watch HBO with Xfinity, but I don't know you could stream it. So that's cool. So I think that's about all I'm gonna do. I'm not really gonna do much. So I just filled them in a little bit. Um, like on a regular makeup day, I'd probably use a little powder, uh, like brow powder like this, just to kind of um, set everything, but I don't think I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna skip it. Because again, the whole point is no makeup look, so. Um, on no makeup days, I like to use the CoverGirl, uh, not CoverGirl, sorry, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15, which is fair. Okay, and I'm gonna use my e.l.f. beauty sponge. This is like my favorite beauty sponge. And quick thing I wanted to share with you guys. I don't know if any of you guys follow, um, her name is That Taylor. I'm sure you've heard of her. And she, I watched one of her videos of the day and she said that she cleans her beauty blenders with this like Bath and Body Works soap, like the ones that are like that foam, like this. I tried it and it literally, this, it's, I've used it since, but it looked brand new. So this stuff works better than any kind of like brush cleaner, Blue Dawn, whatever. This stuff is good to clean beauty blenders. So I thought I would share that with you. 
I'll link her video if, you, if I can find it because it wasn't like a new one, but yeah. I'll link one of her videos. So, okay, so for the concealer, definitely just gonna put some like under my eyes, you know, because I'm a little purpley. Just, you know, when you're pale, you tend to be a little purpley. And then a little here, a little redness there, I feel like. And then just some spot conceal, like where that little blemish that won't go away is. So that's gonna be about it. So. Actually, I need to put some on my eyelid as well. Just going to blend out the concealer. So this like little scrunchie I got at Dollar Tree last weekend and I actually really like it. It's super cute. I might go over there today and see if they have any more and like maybe different colors because it's really cute. Okay, and last thing I forgot, I'm gonna put a little more concealer on my eyelid because I didn't put any, I'm not gonna wear any eye makeup so I didn't like prime them obviously. My eye is watering. So yeah, definitely feeling that hydrating primer for sure. Sorry, this eye just started watering, I don't know why. Okay, and I am gonna go ahead and set the concealer just a little bit because as you can see, like right here, it is, it is a little dewy, a little too dewy. So I'm gonna use the Tarte um, Smooth Operator Transluc Translucent Powder just a bit. Might not even help, to be honest. So yeah, it's finally nice outside because like I said yesterday, it was rainy all day. So that's why I feel like I need to at least get out for a little bit, even if I don't do much. I just need to do a little something. So yeah, like, you know, like on your no makeup days, you don't want to use like your good makeup. Not that this makeup's not good, but like I don't want to use like my Shape Tape Concealer because I wear that every day. So I just want to use something a little bit more natural, more everyday looking. All right, so that's gonna be it. I am gonna go ahead and bronze a little bit. Actually, I wanted to try this. This is a new product as well. This is the Ulta Beauty Face Highlighting Color Stick. I'm not sure if this is gonna be too dark so you can see it's a little bit like brownish, which might not work for me, but I'm gonna give it a try today. That's how it looks. You can see, oh yeah, see it's like brown. Well, I guess today's a good day to try it. I'm just gonna draw it like this and then kind of buff it out with my beauty sponge. That's pretty. As long as you buff it out, I think it's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little bronzing. And for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Just a little bit. It won't show up as much since I don't have like foundation to like for it to stick to. So it's just very, you know, subtle. Give me a little color here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use the Pixi Fresh Face Blush in Beach Rose. It's a really pretty, like, everyday color. Okay. 
That helps a lot, actually. A lot of it does come on the brush, so be careful. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that highlighting stick. I'm just gonna put some on my ring finger like this and just kind of like give myself a little something there. And I'm dipping my ring finger in it again, just kind of. And then I'm gonna do some quick mascara on time lapse. Okay, so the mascara that I used is the CoverGirl Peacock Flare in Waterproof. Usually when I do, do like no makeup days, I don't put any mascara on the bottom lash. It just kind of, then it starts to look too makeup-y and then it's like, why am I doing this? Might as well just put on the whole face, you know what I'm saying? So the whole point of today is just keeping it very, very simple. Get out the door quick, you know, don't want to waste the day. I think what I'm gonna do is just put a gloss. I'm gonna use the Avon Crave Lip Gloss. And this is the color French Toast. This is new. Okay, so let's see here. Ooh, that's pretty. I didn't realize it would be this colorful. It does, it does smell like French Toast too, that's funny. I wasn't sure if that was like just the color or if it was gonna smell like it. Yeah, if I if I try to do like lipstick on a no makeup day, then again I'll look too makeup-y, so I think a gloss is perfect. So yeah, this is my no makeup makeup look. This is a run to the grocery store. This is a Starbucks run. This is a Sunday stroll through Target type makeup look. You know what I mean? So yeah, let's get on to the next thing here. So the next part of this video is going to be a small Avon haul. So I recently ordered some stuff from Avon. I am an Avon lady. I'll put a link to my store and I wanted to share with you stuff I got. So Avon, in my opinion, has the best like skincare products. It's really affordable, works really good. So the first two things I got, um, I got the Anu Vital, um, let's see here, day cream. And I really like this. Um, I like this because it has a really fresh smell to it. Um, and it is SPF 25, super important. Um, if you've seen my last, uh, I don't know, one of my videos, Right now I am currently using the Avon Anu Skin Invincible, which is actually SPF 50, which I definitely like that. The only thing is I feel like it is just a tad bit greasier. Not too much though, it's really not that bad. But, um, and it doesn't have any kind of a smell, which is fine, that's not why I don't like it. It's not that I don't like it. Um, it comes in a much smaller container than the Vital one does. And so what I figured was I would get more of the Vital and then I can use that one like on days I know I'm gonna be outside or driving. Like today I know I'm gonna be in the car. So I put the SPF 50 on obviously. So this is how it looks. This isn't the day lotion, this is the day cream. So I anticipate it being a little bit thicker. This is how it looks, pretty packaging. And this does say, um, like when I looked, when I was shopping for it, like it does say it's good for larger pores and that's definitely something that I have issues with. So, oh, I just love the smell of it. I know that's one of the things people don't like about it is it does have a bit of a smell, but I actually think the smell is like shower fresh and I like it. So this was, um, shoot, I don't have the receipt. It was, I wanna say it was 19.99. I'll put links to everything. Um, yeah, so and it has, I'm trying to see how much is in here, 50 grams or 1.7 ounces, so it's a good amount. Um, let's see here. And then if you bought this, you got this for free with it, which is the Vital Night Cream. 
So it's a little, obviously it's like a smaller like travel size. So I've actually never used the Vital night cream before. So I'm excited to, it has that same nice showery smell that I like. So yeah, I love the Skin Vincible SPF 50, can't go wrong, but this will be more like for every day, that'll be more for like, if I know I'm gonna be outside. Next thing, another thing that was a freebie was this. Um, this is the a new cream cleanser. If you've seen, I don't even remember which one, one of my favorites videos. Um, this is my absolute favorite favorite face wash. It lathers so nice. Um, this is the illuminating one, which is funny that it was this one because there's different kinds of this wash. So it really just, it really was just luck that it happened to be my favorite one. So it's the illuminating, um, rich foaming cleanser. What I like about it obviously is that it foams really nicely and it doesn't give you your face that like dry tight feeling afterwards. It's really, really nice. And I think regular it's like, maybe 10 bucks, it's really affordable. So definitely check that out. Next thing is I got two lip glosses, um, both the Crave one. So this one, which is the one I'm wearing today, is called French Toast. And it actually smells like French Toast. I didn't know if that was like the color or if it was supposed to smell like it too, but it smells like it, it smells delicious. The other one is, this one, is Pumpkin Latte. Um, as you can see, like with the one I'm wearing, it does have a little bit of a color, sorry. It does have a little bit of a color to it, which is nice. So this one's a little bit darker, so let's see here. So it looks like that, so it does have a bit of a tint to it. And it does smell pumpkin-y, nice. So yeah, these are really cute. They were on sale too. I wanna say they were two for 10 maybe. So yeah, these um, do go on sale from time to time and they're really nice, they're really cute. They smell good, so you can't go wrong with those. Got some on me now. And the last thing is this. This is like the lip gloss, let's see. Yeah, lip gloss, that's what it says. So it's just a little bit different than those. So it comes in a little cute little flower like that. And the color is Coral Bliss, so it has a little mirror. I have like swatched it already, but I'm gonna show you right now. So this one does have a color as well, really pretty, and it has like a little tiny mirror, so you can, uh, you know, put it on. <laughs> so yeah, that is basically, that's all I got from Avon. Just wanted to share that. Now, um, gotta go run some errands, so I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I need to stop at the post office, and we'll see what else, so. So today has taken an interesting turn. So I came out to get into the car and my neighbor was like, oh, your tire's flat. I was like, what? So I have a flat tire, but luckily he was nice enough to help me put the spare on. So now um, I'm gonna have to go to discount tire. Hopefully they can patch it. We'll see, but it's hot. So I decided to stop at Sonic, get something to drink. It is after two, so it's happy hour. I got a frozen blue coconut limeade. Something new, something Barb's recommended, so we'll see how it is. Hi. Yes, thank you. <sighs> okay, so yeah, so it was happy hour, so this was $1.56. Um, I think they charge a little to add a flavor. So it's limeade with blue coconut put into it so something new so yeah I need to get to discount tires quick I'm just glad that it happened now and not tomorrow morning when I'm going to work so I'm thankful for that and worst case scenario if I need a new tire I have I have savings for it I just hope I don't have to do that so let's go okay so I'm at Target now so I got my tire patched. It was only five bucks and they were so fast and they were so nice. So I'm so thankful that my neighbors told me about this place. If you live in the Irving area, it's called Nico's. So if you need like a patched tire in a hurry on a Sunday when no one's open, check them out. So anyways, just gonna look around Target. Um, I don't even remember what I wanted to look at now. I'm all distraught from that whole tire situation.
So I'm thinking about getting these shorts. I'm not sure just because they're really short and I don't really like short shorts, but let me show you. I like the little flower details. I think that's super cute. And I mean, they look decent. I, just, I don't know, they're shorter than I'm used to. They are, they're on sale for $11.90 for a size. All right, so back in the car from this Target run. Um, I, found, I, I ended up getting the shorts. I thought they were super cute, so I went ahead and got them. Um, like I said, they were on sale for eleven ninety, so that's a good that's a good price. And I really like this Wild Fable brand, so I went ahead and got them. And then I found these, as you can see, it's kind of bright. They were also on clearance for six forty eight, and it's three pairs of like little hoopy earrings, and they have like little studs on them. I thought they were cute. I love gold, so. Yeah, that was all I got. Um, I need to get my friend Julie something for her birthday, but she hasn't told me what she wanted. Like, that's what we do, you know, like she asked me what I wanted for my birthday and I just straight up told her, but she hasn't yet. So might have to do a little hounding this week. So anyways, um, I don't know if that's my last stop. I'm not gonna go to the Dollar Tree after all, cause like I passed it and I don't feel like going back the other direction. So not today, this ponytail's already killing my head. I'm wanting to take it down. So we'll see where I'm gonna go next. Okay, so one of my next stops was the post office. Um, so anytime um, somebody orders from my online Avon store, I always send a personalized thank you, just, you know, to show I appreciate them shopping with me. So get that out. Okay, I'm back home now, so gonna make dinner. Um, this is what I'm gonna make, the Mediterranean baked veggies says it takes 30 minutes to prepare. Usually it takes me longer than what it says, but I'm gonna go ahead and make it. I need to make it. So yeah, this is the calorie smart plan. So I'm trying to get a couple more of those, you know, I'm trying to look out because for things like this. So I'm sure you guys have seen those beautiful Game of Thrones Oreos at the store. I wanted to get them, but I didn't get them after all because Friday when I went to the grocery store, I got these and it's like little packs of two cookies and like little 100 calorie packs so two cookies yeah so i was like okay i'm gonna be good and get these so i definitely don't need oreos because i got these so but next time i want those game of thrones ones for sure okay so i am preparing the whatever and here is I'm trying to hold it up without them rolling all over the place so it's asparagus tomatoes minced garlic salt and pepper so this is going to go in the oven for 15 minutes all right so I'll finish with dinner so this is how it looks it has like asparagus tomatoes almonds feta cheese and couscous Cusco, I don't know if I'm saying that right but it's actually pretty good I'm impressed with it so just gonna kick back for a while watch some Game of Thrones probably gonna go ahead and end this video here just so that I can upload it um, not gonna do much else today just watch Game of Thrones so it's time to go to bed so um yeah so thank you guys so much for watch say hi Fiona she's trying to get comfy on my lap say hi baby so I want to thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and tagging along with me kind of took a kind of took a crazy turn with the whole like tire situation but everything turned out okay so once again, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.